Hello and welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Jim Penna, Manager of Retirement Services here at VectorVest, and I'm very happy to be presenting this week's topic, which is titled, To Protect and Defend. Now, given the history of volatility in the month of October, and we can take a look just a year ago, October to December of last year, as an example, and taking into account the other uncertainties that currently hang over the market, we thought it would be timely for you to take your own personal oath to protect and defend your retirement portfolio. Let's take a quick look at a market timing graph and see what we're talking about here. Now again, we all remember last year we got a confirmed down call on October the 4th of last year and the markets sold off dramatically right up until Christmas Eve of last year. Now let me be clear, even though we have a confirmed down in late September similar to last year, I am not here to sound the bell for some catastrophic sell-off in the market. The fact is we don't know what will happen. That is, in fact, the definition of uncertainty. So the best that we can do is to follow the market guidance given to us through the VectorVest program and be prepared. And to do that, we like to follow the ultimate retirement solution. I've shared the conversation I've had with Dr. Dolito many times where we talked with subscribers and customers who, in some shape or form always come down to the question when we talk about retirement is how do I keep from running out of money in retirement and that's where the ultimate retirement solution was born after speaking with Dr. Delito he came up with a very logical answer that says the best way to keep from running out of money in retirement is to just keep making more money so let me start by talking about what a secure retirement is what we consider that to be here at VectorVest we say it's one in which you have enough income to live the life you desire, where work is optional and retirement is affordable. And what I'll add to this is that it also is retirement where you don't have to sit and worry about those violent drawdowns that we saw just a year ago and several other times throughout the course of the last year. So protecting and defending your retirement portfolio actually begins in the building stages of that portfolio. And so we have our three core strategies that make up the ultimate retirement solution. It begins with capital appreciation, buying safe, high quality stocks that rise in price in a rising market. We talk about income from both dividends and the power of selling covered calls to generate income. And then finally, and in my opinion, most importantly, is the capital preservation, protecting and defending your retirement nest egg. Let's take a quick look first at capital appreciation. So as we build our portfolio, we've talked many times about the power of earnings per share and how earnings drive the market. So on these longer term graphs of quality stocks like Visa, we see earnings growing. It's not surprising that the price of the stock rises as earnings continue to rise. HEI Corp, another high relative safety stock. See again, the earnings per share rising. Now this is a great example. I'm going to bring up a little bit later on in this presentation because as we know even the highest quality stocks don't always go straight up forever and I'm going to show you exactly how to mitigate against any potential drawdowns in the stock and HEI is going to be a perfect example. PGR another example again that nice steady movement with earnings per share guiding the price of the stock. Now in the VectorVest program relative safety is an indicator of risk we define it as the consistency and predictability of the financial performance. So when you take that process of finding good quality, safe stocks, buy them at the right time. Now we're looking at a about a almost a seven year look back at one of our model portfolios for capital appreciation. And this began as a as a back test a couple of years back. I converted it into a model portfolio. And you can see the, the returns uh over 22 percent annualized rate of return that doesn't include any dividends we might have gotten and it doesn't include any of the techniques that I'm going to show in a few minutes on how to protect against some of these drawdowns in the market next we move on to income Dr. D has written in his book stock strategies and common sense that the best of all worlds is collecting dividend checks while prices of your stocks go up this comes from finding solid growth stocks that pay dividends and VectorVest, as Dr. D says, is ideally suited to find these babies. We look for the characteristics of quality dividend growth payers, very easy to find in the VectorVest program. They consist of earnings growth rate, 
the dividend growth rate, and then finally the dividend safety. If I go back into the program, it's very easy to find these type of stocks. One place we like to go is the watch list tool through our viewers tab. And if I go to dividend payers, you'll see some great lists of stocks here. I always just kind of jump ahead to the drip 25 plus. That stands for dividend reinvestment plans. The stocks on this list, which are considered in the industry as dividend aristocrats, stocks that have not only paid, but have grown their dividend year over year for at least 25 years. Some of these 50, 60, 70 years or more. We also have the 10 to 24 list, which will also give us some very good quality, well-recognized names here with very strong earnings growth rates. And if I scroll over, we'll look at the dividend growth rates all in double digits here for the most part, a couple of exceptions, and then the dividend safety numbers as well. Dividend safety on a zero to 99 scale. We say any dividend safety greater than 50 will ensure a positive payout ratio. One specific search we use is found in the Unisearch tool. It's called Blue Chip Dividend Payers. It's a search it created to find mature, well-established companies that reside in these major indexes that pay at least a 3% yield and have not only paid but grown their dividend for at least 10 years to 25 or more. And then finally, the dividend safety number greater than 50 will ensure us that when we look at the dividend paid versus say the earnings per share there's a couple of ways to compare these earnings per share at 768 the dividend paid at 268 we always want to be sure that the company is making more money than they're paying out finding a dividend safety greater than 50 is a great way to ensure that that is the case so if I scroll over just a bit more you'll see on this particular search blue chip dividend payers sorts these stocks by growth rate times the dividend growth rate. So earnings growth rate times dividend growth rate will bring some quality stocks to the top of that list. When we pull up some graphs and look at some five-year charts on some of these stocks, uh, next era, it's utility. Again, seeing that dividend grow, and this goes back even more. I think this is a, actually this is a 10-year look back at the stock. So earnings have grown. They're able to grow their dividends every year. Next era is on the 25 plus this is a dividend aristocrat and so it's been more than 25 years that this pattern has been holding so looking at just the dividend again over the 10 years what I like to refer to as that golden staircase a nice steady dividend growth stock also rising in price and giving you capital appreciation I'll just scroll through some other quick examples some of these are from the 10 to 24 list some are from the 25 plus but you'll see a very similar pattern. We make it very simple to find these in the program. Lockheed Martin is on the 10 to 24 year, continuously growing their dividend with strong earnings. Alliant Energy, another favorite. And again, when we find these type of stocks, we build a, a model portfolio using very prudent investment strategy behind it. If we look at this particular portfolio, again, this one was also created a couple of years ago as a back test, converted to a portfolio and right up just till yesterday's close we're up over 17 percent now the key here is that this number does not include dividends I've calculated those dividends out we're looking at just over thirty thousand dollars in dividend payouts so you would add that to that annualized rate of return this also does not include the defensive techniques we'll talk about nor does it include the power of reinvesting these dividends and taking advantage of the power of compounding those returns. Which brings us to our income portion part two. I just want to quickly talk about covered call income. Again, as we build our portfolio and generate that income, it's going to be important to understand the power of the covered call option. For those who may not be familiar, one of the very basic definitions that I have found for someone who's new to what a covered call is, understand there are other traders out there who will give you money today for the right to take your stock away from you if it reaches a much higher price. That is the perfect definition of what a covered call is. Let me just walk through quickly the steps of a covered call and what it entails. It's a theoretical example just to give you an idea. If you're not familiar with covered calls, you should be if you are managing and building your own retirement portfolio. So our example is, let's just say we go out and we buy 100 shares of XYZ at $60 per share. We then go out and sell 
one call option with 45 days to expiration and the strike price for that call option is $62.50 meaning someone's going to pay us two dollars per share to take away our stock that we bought at 60 bucks at 62.50 right? they're willing to take their stock away at 62.50 when we only paid 60 bucks and they're paying us for that right to do that well, if we own the shares at 60 and we get paid $2, it leaves a net debit or a cost basis on the stock of $58 per share. Let's go through some what-if scenarios. At expiration, if XYZ is above 6250 our stock will be called away. They will exercise the right to buy the stock at 6250 which is fine. Remember, we own it at 58 that's a $4.50 gain or 7.7% .7 return on that trade in just 45 days. That's a great way to generate income in your portfolio. Now, what if XYZ is below 62.50 at expiration? Well, remember, it was trading at 60. We got paid the two bucks, so we do have a cushion built in. A cushion built in, and in this case, 3.3% lower than the original price of $60. So. That helps the stock can actually go down or move sideways and we can still make money on the trade. Now it's important to understand that if XYZ does fall below 58 at expirations, losses will certainly occur. So it's important to understand when and on what type of stock to place these trades. Which finally brings us to capital preservation. So part of protecting and defending your portfolio is making sure it's built on a strong foundation to begin with. But when it comes to preserving the capital, there are very specific strategic techniques that we want to employ. And you may have heard me talk about my fellow Connecticut Yankee, Mr. Mark Twain, uh, in the past. And he said that don't just sit there and worry. Be proactive. Do something, anything about what's worrying you so that you can gain information, focus, and control over the situation. He goes on to say that I've suffered a great many catastrophes in my life. Most of them never happened. Great quote. Let's go ahead and apply that to our protect and defend concept here. I showed HEI earlier. This was an actual trade in one of the portfolios we manage each week in our retirement group coaching sessions. And so I just want to walk through exactly what happened here. So in this scenario, we bought just 100 shares of HEI back in January of this year at $80.57. It was shortly after a confirmed up call. We had a position to fill in our model portfolio and we bought HEI. The stock did what we wanted and hoped it would do. It continued to rise and then we had an earnings report due. On this particular earnings report, I went out and I bought a put option ahead of that report. It cost $1.85 per share or $185 of insurance to protect an asset worth over $10,000 at that point. Almost about $11,000 at that point. Now, what happened? The earnings were announced and the stock gapped up and continued to rise. So I bought an insurance policy that I didn't need. And yes, it did cost me $185, but I held on to the stock, made up uh, easily that cost of the insurance policy. And we often compare it to an insurance poly policy and say, you know, if you have a car insurance policy and every month you pay the premium, at the end of that month, you're not angry because you didn't get into a car accident, God forbid, or, or somebody banged into your car. And it's the same way here. I didn't need the insurance. It's okay. It's a cost of doing business. And my stock continued to run. In fact, it ran all the way up to roughly $146, $147 per share. But what happened? Well, the next earnings report was coming out. And I didn't want to be complacent. I wanted to be proactive. And so ahead of this next earnings report, we bought another put option. This one cost $3.40 per share. What happened? Well, earnings were reported on 827. The stock gapped down and traded lower over the next few days. This was the day of earnings. Kind of was a bit erratic, a little volatile, and then began to trend lower. So what did we accomplish by buying that put option? Well, we held on to the stock. That was basically our stop criteria, our insurance policy against this type of price action. So the result is that on September 10th of this year we sold the HEI stock at 127.47. Now that is down 
from the peak of roughly $145, which is still a nice profit, but I'm not happy about that kind of drawdown in selling the stock. That's why I protect and defend my positions or my portfolio using these strategic hedge trades. So we sold the stock. We made $4,690 on the stock, but we were also able to sell that 140 strike put option that we purchased heading into earnings for a $950 profit. We bought it at $3.40. We sold it at $12.90. That's roughly a 10 point move. So in reality, what we really did was sold HEI or the cost base there was really at $137 if you count in the profit here. So we no longer own the stock. The stock continued to, to fade a little bit here. Still a good quality stock and the next confirmed up call it may find its way back into the portfolio. But for now, we were able to capture a nice profit, protect it against earnings. So if that was even worse, we would have collected even more premium on that sold put option. And so it's only 100 shares and one put. What if you had two or 300 shares? What if you have 12 or 15 or 20 stocks that you protect and defend through earnings? And not that you're going to have put options on each stock all the time. But again, there are strategic times where with just a few clicks of the button, you're able to uh, initiate that insurance policy. It really has a dramatic effect over time. So not only can we do this on individual stocks, but we can also protect and defend our entire portfolio using the SPY hedge. Uh, the SPY is an ETF that tracks the index, the S&P 500. And let me just take you through a quick look at how important this is as well. I'm going to focus in again on a, obviously the dramatic or the most illustrative time frame here, and that is just about a year ago. Remember, last October, the market had a dramatic sell-off right up through Christmas Eve. Well, we could have been prepared for that because as I zoom into that time frame, this is that same time frame, October to December, right? If we look at the scenario, we did have a confirmed down on October 4th. Now, we didn't know it was going to be that dramatic of a sell-off. There was no way to know that. But we still have to be proactive. So the scenario I want to walk through is that we bought that next morning after the confirmed down, SPY opens trading at right around $290 per share, or $289. In our scenario, we went out and bought the two, the December, that's a 90 day, days to expiration, the December 289 strike. We bought that put option at $6 per share, or $604 per contract. We use a formula that told us we would buy either three or four of these put options, to protect our overall portfolio. In this case, we bought three of them at 604 per share. That's $1,800 towards your portfolio insurance. This is to protect an asset. Again, at that point is over a hundred thousand dollar asset in a confirmed down call situation where you would put an insurance policy in place. At expiration of this option all the way out into December, SPY traded or closed then at $240.70. That strike from its purchase date down to the expiration, that 289 strike is now trading at $45.71. Now, had you bought it on that day and held it all the way to December, you would have had a profit of $39.67 per share or just under 12 grand. It's a huge return on investment. Now, let me just stop for a minute and say, I'm, I'm not saying that that's how it would work every time that you would buy it exactly on that date although you should have bought it somewhere in that range because of the confirmed down i'm not saying i would have been uh, good enough to know that i would hold it right to expiration and capture the full profit that's not my point here my point is is that any time during this violent sell-off that we saw in a fairly short period of time had you taken profits on that put option you would have greatly mitigated a lot of those drawdowns. You could have closed it here for a profit, put on another one sometime during that downturn as the market continued to, to crater. We would use the vector vest color guard to let us know we still needed to be bearish and defensive. And so while you may not have captured the entire 11,900, you would have had a nice insurance policy in here to mitigate that drawdown. And it's important because when I go back to a market timing graph and we take a look at the vector vest composite what 
what you'll notice here is that from that downturn back just a, a year ago, it's been a full year and we're still not back to those highs of right around September and October. So if you had done nothing, your portfolio is just getting back to where it was a year ago, when in fact you could have taken advantage and, and, and had that insurance policy kick in and pay you instead of having the time use of your money just sit there and wait an entire year just to get back to even if you had done nothing. So being proactive, again, is a very important facet to what we do. So those are the three core strategies, the three fronts that we fight this battle on. And again, tonight I wanted to focus on capital preservation, protecting and defending your portfolio, which gives us the answer to that question, how do I keep from running out of money in retirement? As Dr. D said, just keep making more money, and that is the ultimate retirement solution. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the techniques that I talked about this evening, we do have the Ultimate Retirement Solution online course that is starting next week. Be able to protect and grow your retirement nest egg is our goal there. Real quick, I just want to walk through the modules that we have in the Ultimate Retirement Solution and why each one is so important. To begin to build and manage your retirement portfolio, we call the first module Win Before You Begin. You've got to have your objectives set very clearly clear goals defined objectives and know how you're going to allocate your portfolio we then talk about the capital appreciation portion module two is all about finding those high quality high rs stocks to buy at the right time to grow your portfolio module three will focus on the dividend portion how to find those good quality stocks that we saw in blue chip dividend payers and the in the exact strategy and trading plan that we want to employ to take full advantage of that. In modules four and five, we are going to talk about generating income using covered calls. And in module five, we'll talk about that protective put that I just showed both on HEI and on SPY and how you can implement those techniques to protect and defend your portfolio. If you are new to options, do not be put off or worry about the fact that we're talking about two option trades. By the end of these two modules you will know exactly what you need to do and how to sell covered calls for income and to place protective puts for insurance purposes you don't need to be an options expert to understand these two very basic trades and finally all of that education is great but unless you are ready to actually implement your plan to allocate the funds to show you how to automate those portfolios and set up a trading checklist for you uh, that's what's going to really uh, tie the ribbon around this entire trading plan. If you join us for the Ultimate Retirement Solution online course, there are some great bonuses that we offer. We have six live mastery support sessions. After each module, I will walk you through any questions, comments that you have, uh, help you implement what you've learned in the module, look at what you're doing, help to guide you with any specific uh, scenarios that you have. And don't worry, if you can't make the live session, all of the information, the modules and the mastery sessions are archived and recorded for your access. So that's one nice bonus that we have. We'll also give you six weeks of access to our URS retirement coaching group. Some of the examples I showed in tonight's presentation come from our Tuesday sessions and the live trades that we do and we monitor each week. So you can have access to view those portfolios, help with weekly covered call trades or or protective put trades, managing the different model portfolios. So that's another bonus we offer. And then one more, our bonus module after the course is done, if you want to extend your ability to generate monthly income, we have a bonus module on credit spreads, how to trade option credit spreads. If you do want to take that next step, that'll be a free bonus module for you as well. The cost of the course is only $5.95. That price does increase on Tuesday at 5 p.m. because the course starts on Wednesday of next week. So only $5.95. If you register before Tuesday at 5 p.m., simply go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash URS and it will bring you to this a summary page and simply click register there and it will give you all of the steps to take. Finally, if you do sign up for the course, just know that there is a 100% money back guarantee. If after taking the course, you're not satisfied with what we've presented and taught you, you can let us know and we will refund 100% the cost of the course. And so we urge you in 
these times of uncertainty that you again take your own personal oath to protect and defend your retirement nest egg. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.